Today, let's look at the cross currency basis swap. Question 1. When to use a cross currency basis swap? The first use is to borrow in a specific currency. For example, in order to borrow in USD, you first borrow from the bank in C80. Then you swap C80 into USD through a cross currency swap to finally get the USD. The second use is to choose a currency to invest in. Instead of investing in the domestic Canadian market, you may decide to exchange C80 for USD to buy a bond in USD. Question 2. Why should we use a cross currency swap? What are the objectives and the advantages? One advantage of cross currency swap is that it allows you to fix the exchange rate in the future. Indeed, at the beginning of the swap, the two parties exchange the principal amounts. At the end of the swap, they return the principal amounts back to each other. The exchange rate used to determine the principal amounts is decided at the beginning of the swap contract. Another advantage of cross currency swap happens when the covered interest rate parity does not hold, and one can actually get a better return by investing in the foreign currency rather than the domestic currency. The covered interest rate parity basically says that to invest in a domestic bond and then convert the whole amount to a foreign currency in the future at the forward exchange rate gives the same return as converting the domestic currency to foreign at the spot rate at the beginning and then investing in a foreign bond. In reality, this interest rate parity does not always hold. So, one can actually get a higher return by using a cross-currency swap to convert domestic currency to foreign, invest in a foreign bond, and then convert back to domestic currency at the end of the swap. In the previous example, we saw that the trader wanted to sell C80 and buy USD. Suppose that C80 is in high demand in the currency market. If this is the case, then the trader would receive an extra percentage of interest because he is the one lending out the Canadian dollars. This means that at periodic interest payment dates, the C80 lender would receive a higher amount of C80 interest. Question 3. How to determine who pays or receives the basis? This is always done from the perspective of the currency that is not USD. In our case, the non-USD currency in the swap is C80. Furthermore, from the trader's perspective, he is the lender of the Canadian dollar and the receiver of the Canadian dollar interest. So, he receives the basis. Given the assumption that C80 is currently in high demand in the market, the trader who lends out C80 will receive an extra basis on the interest generated from the C80 principal amount. So, in this case, the trader receives a positive basis. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. See you next time.